Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again in Minecraft, back after a good while. Uh, however, there is one major difference. This is more or less a Feed the Beast mod pack. It's not actually Feed the Beast. Uh, basically, the short version of the story is I found a site with the mod pack updated to 1.6.4. And I have slowly changed and modified and edited it into ways where it fits my preferences. Uh, so, in case you're curious, I started with uh, the Resonance Rise mod pack from the AT launcher site. And I have since modified that heavily. It's no longer what it once was. It is actually far less than it was, because I took out everything I didn't need, which included IC2. Now, if you remember, industrial craft was a pretty big thing in a lot of mod packs, but I don't like what they've done to it lately, and as such, have chosen to remove it. Uh, I probably could have just played without it and made use of what I wanted from it, but... You know, it's just really not worth the effort involved. So, instead, I'm going to focus my start on probably a combination of two mods, which I'm going to be using extra utilities, primarily for pipes and other nifty features, and then I'm probably going to be using factorization. Uh, the thing with factorization is I very rarely, on any of the people I've watched, have I seen them start with it despite the fact that it has very, very capable or tripling, and in fact higher than that even, if you get lucky, and so you can actually get more bang for your buck if you put more effort forwards. Uh, with that said, some of the things can be very expensive on certain ores, namely silver and lead. Neither of which are generated... Lead is not generated naturally. None of the mods I have in actually have a lead ore. Lead will come entirely from factorization. Because of how it handles acquisition of lead. And I do of course have the ever popular Tinker's Construct mod. So I'm going to have some really cool tools. And I do not wish to live in a jungle. I'll probably get a cat. I'll probably use the extra utility sound muffler. Uh, this is algae. It comes from the E-Mashers mods. Uh, it doesn't actually say that on it. However, it's, to my knowledge, let's just check it real quick. I'm pretty sure it's actually useless. Yeah, as you can see, no uses. Uh, that is because the mod that it technically relies on is Gascraft. And I don't have that one in because, once again, it's a situation of don't really like it. I may or may not reconsider that in the future, but if I do, I'm going to have to go generate more chunks to gain access to some of the things it adds. Things like algae, however, I shouldn't need to. Uh, having access to a jungle is nice, though. Jungle? Not a jungle. Well, maybe a jungle, but uh, a desert, because I can get cactus easily enough. Sand for glass. And uh, I should mention... Oop, wrong button. I have a lot of the biomes mods disabled. Uh, I honestly didn't really like them. I left in Natura, which is made by Mdio, the same guy who makes Tinker's Construct, because it adds a lot of new things in terms of trees and foods and stuff. But... Why is... T oh, right. Because those would be. Because... Yeah. Anyhow. So... That's about the closest thing to new biomes I have. Uh, I just felt there was too many biomes mods that did too many things, and I wanted rid of them. I wanted to reduce it down... Is that hemp? No, that's more cactus. There's a thing called hemp added by the Emashers mods, I believe, uh, which includes Engineer's Toolbox, which was a really cool mod, Defense... Uh, gas craft, which I mentioned, and 
I think that's about it. There's the core, but that doesn't really count as a mod, per se. This right here is a nature cactus. Bit of a pain in comparison to regular cactus to grow, but uh, it, it works just the same. And if you're wondering why I'm collecting reeds, it's because uh, when I was playing around in my previous world, which was just me screwing around and eventually started removing things and removing things and removing things and removing more things until the point where the world was filled with literal holes from removing blocks that were in world gen by deleting their mods. Uh, when I updated it one time, they moved on to the COF core or COFH core uh, redstone flux energy system. I believe that is what it's called. And as such, they made changes to some of their crafting and power management things. Which also means that my entire power system was kind of screwed. Because I was no longer directly interfacing. Uh, I need to find a source of food, I think. That's a hole in the ground. Oh. Hey, look, Gritwood Tree. That is, of course, from Tomcraft. Ooh. That is a very blue biome. Let's go investigate. What is that? Added by uh, Thomcraft? Magical Forest, maybe? It's like a blue-green. I like the color of the leaves. It's really good. Uh, frame rate's dipping a bit. Uh, that might be because of something I have implemented and the fact that I'm doing world gen. And it is indeed a magical forest. I like the colors. I think this is where we will live. It'll also be good for if I decide to do Thomcraft, because there's creatures that can spawn here called Pex, which are a Thomcraft edition. And you can trade with them to get some Thomcraft stuff. Ooh, Obsidian Totem. There should be, I think, a node inside of that. Uh, that is, however, going to spawn a eerie biome around that, but that is beside the point. Ooh. I was not aware those could spawn naturally in a magical forest biome. Uh, I need to leave that alone. I'm actually going to set a waypoint for that. Uh, that is used... Oop. Nope. Nope. Bean. Man, a bean. That is used in Thomcraft's enchanting system, which I have Thomic Tinkerer installed, but it's not really going to be... The only thing I really ever used Thomic Tinkerer for was its enchanting system, which isn't really necessary because Thomcraft has one now. But, I like how this biome looks. I might center my house around here. I like having an easily accessible water source. I also have access to the desert here, and there's plenty of uh, silverwood trees around, so those should have nodes in them. It's actually really easy to tell if they have a node, even if you can't actually see the node, because uh, the wood blocks that have nodes in them have a slightly different texture. Which, I don't think this has one. Although, I haven't really looked. Uh, but, I realized I haven't really accomplished much. I've been doing, t uh, running around, looking. Ooh, squid. Oh, you're right. This water is deep enough for squid. That's also good. Uh, this was more basically informing you that I'm going to be back. However... I'm probably not going to upload videos as frequently as I used to, uh, due to things I've expressed in a previous video. Is that a horse? What the hell are you doing there, horse? Ooh. That means this must be a plains. This is good. This is a very good assortment of biomes. I am quite pleased with this. Quite pleased indeed. That is an acacia added by Natura. Ooh, there's another obsidian totem there. Very good, very good. Plenty of sheep. A lot of sheep. I haven't really seen anything other than sheep except for that horse. Cause problems. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Natura or another mod that added barley. Oh, that looked like barley seed. I think that answers that question. Yes. Because like I said, the only real mod like that I have in is Natura. So that's one of the things it adds. Pretty sure it's Natura that adds that. 
can actually look. Oh, wrong thing. So, we go in here and look at Natura. We will see somewhere. Yeah, cotton seeds and barley seeds, as well as multiple types of fruits. Oh, and for anyone interested, here is my list of mods Applied Energistics, Build Craft, Bibliocraft. Uh, Binny Core, which I don't think actually contains too much. I think it's more of needed for forestry and other things. Uh, chicken Chunks, which also includes the the core, the the core library needed for that, which won't show up in this list. Computer Craft, Computer Craft Turtles, Defense, which relies on Emash or Resource, which is a library. Uh, Ender IO, which is more or less kind of thermal expansion, but not quite. Uh, Ender Storage, which you should be familiar with. Engineer's Toolbox, which is a very fun mod. I will show you that at my earliest convenience. Enhanced Portals, which allows you to deal with portals. Oh, it has gotten dark. I should probably hide in a hole. Uh, but you've seen me do the mining and digging of stuff before, which it is on hard, which I will show you now. Hard. So, that's going to be fun. Uh, we got extra utilities, which adds cool things like compressed cobble, dirt, and gravel. Uh, something that's apparently non-existent. Uh, plenty of different types of decorative blocks as well, as well as drums, which I've gotten. Th these things seem very, very handy to me, but they're also rather expensive. Although that may be due to the fact that it uses Railcraft steel, which could be a pain. Factorization, which we'll get into. Like I said, it's going to be one of the things we're going to start with. Forestry. Forge microblocks, which I'm going to be making a lot of use of, because extra utilities transfer nodes, uh, more specifically the pipes, work with microblocks. So you can use those as covers. Uh, gravity gun. I do not have portal gun. I actually removed it. as I, First of all, I didn't really use the portals too much, so I've decided... I could handle the extra cleanup of mods I didn't use. Uh, Imibus Core, as well as its Red Logic node, which I believe is farther down. Well, it might show up in that. Iron Chest, which, despite being called that, it contains more than just iron. Uh, modular Power Suits, which is doing weird graphical things at the moment. I wouldn't worry about that. Mine Factory Reloaded, which is a new mod from my last series. However, it's also, very useful for things. Uh, regular Minecraft. Natura, as I've mentioned. Obsidian pressure plates. Open blocks. Open peripherals. Which, I haven't really messed with that, but it's it's uh, basically an add-on for computer craft. Uh, forestry plugins, which I actually don't need. I'm not sure why I haven't removed it yet, but we'll wor worry about that later. Quarry Plus, which is an add-on to refineries, pumps and quarries in Buildcraft to allow you to basically move diamond pickaxe and chance over it so you can get fortune on your quarry and whatnot. Uh, Railcraft, which just happens to be in everything at this point. Another mod, Redstone in Motion. This mod is basically a replacement for Red Power's frames, but it boasts more compatibility due to its method of moving. Uh, it does, however, come with some downsides, such as computer craft computers have to reboot every single time you use it, so, or every single time they move. Uh, soul shards, which their functionality has changed. Uh, also, my nose is a bit stuffy right now, so I apologize for that. Uh, Thomcraft itself, which has a lot of new stuff, and the way you research it has changed, although I didn't really dabble into that last time. Uh, Thomic Tinkerer, which I have no idea what these are, but they sound fun. I know what this is, uh, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. If you want to know about that, I'm sure there's probably a spotlight somewhere about Thomic Tinkerer. Uh, Tinker's Construct, which al allows for some serious, serious weapon setups and tools and all that. Uh, Translocator, which is just basic basic block-to-block -block movement. Oh, uh, there's a spider above me. And, of course, Wireless Redstone Chicken Bones Edition. Is it, is it daytime? No, it's not daytime. 
So I'm probably just going to chill under here. You know, if it just... I completely forgot that I can actually use Minecraft days and nights as a timer to see where I'm at. Which means that technically, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay in this hole. I realize it's a bit dark, not a whole lot I can do about that at the moment. And I'm going to gain access to some resources. Oh, uh, get out of my face. One of my favorite things, this was actually an addition of 152, was the ability to just drag items and whatnot into the crafting table and split them as necessary. Th there's plenty of things that keep on getting added to Minecraft itself that I find very, very useful. And I'm actually quite pleased. And then there are other things that... Oh look, some of the uh, Thomcraft ores. I don't particularly care about at the moment so I'm going to ignore that I was hoping to find some coal although so far that has not happened uh, that right there is Tinker's Construct Aluminum or for you European British people Aluminium but uh filling in dead air with random uhs and hmms and noises and stuff and other random words. Not too much to say. I'm kind of digging a tunnel down to somewhere. Uh, I had a train of thought and I lost it as I started it. There is the thing about the silver ore, which is how you both get silver and lead in terms of factorization. It comes in massive nodes. Also, if I wanted to find a tunnel, I could probably technically do it by doing this. Which says that I technically started above a tunnel and then dug away from it. But that's beside the point. Or is it? It probably is. Or is it? Or something. Uh, however, I am. Well, I have a broken pick. One thing I should probably do is. There is an option to tell me whether or not it is lit outside. I disabled it. Because, well, I have no idea why I disabled it, but I did. Hey, get in there. I hear noises. Spider, you're in my way. You're annoying, and I'm going to kill you. I hope this is not a problem. Oh, there's more than one of them. How inconvenient for that. Uh, seems to be getting daytime in Minecraft, which means we should be roughly 20 minutes in because I've been doing a solid straight recording process. And I'd rather find a proper cave to enter. Why do I see wisps on my mini-map? There's two horses there now. Huh. I need to find a source of food. Oh, hello, creepers. That is a lot of creepers. Okay. I am most probably going to starve to death very soon if I don't find food very soon. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't seen any barley by now or any berry bushes or really anything for that matter. Hmm. I keep looking. I have two string. The desperate man's answer to everything. Go fishing. That is going to be my answer to starving to death. 
which requires me to, well, I technically don't have to cook it, but it's kind of pointless if you're going to go fishing and then not cook it. Because I'm standing still, hopefully my food level shouldn't go down. So I'm going to fish and hope that nothing comes after me, like those creepers I saw earlier. And then I'm going to have to find a better source of food. I was going to go caving, but I think I'm going to find us a nice cave to work with, or maybe just do the gathering off camera, because it's standard gathering stuff. And then we'll probably reconvene next episode, because like I said, this was more of to say that I'm back, and I'm doing a new series. And I'm going to try to be more thorough and comprehensive and actually make use of more sections of more mods than I did last time. Because I know there was plenty of mods that I hadn't made use of last time, but I kind of... I'd kind of gotten to the point where they weren't really useful to me anymore, if that makes any sense. Because unfortunately my massive mining machine got me to a point where I had more resources than I knew what to do with, and things like factorization are designed around the whole gathering of resources aspect. Well, not gathering, but more increasing them, as well as other features, of course, but that that seemed to be its major goal. It also had good storage solutions, but it has... Th the problem with AE is it tends to completely outclass a lot of the other ones, but I might see if I can't make some kind of a compromise between the two. I don't know. I'll see about that. In certain cases, I feel chests work just fine, because the AE system can be a bit of a pain to navigate at times, because some of its sorting options are meh. Of course, so that's my personal opinion, of which I am entitled to. Holy fucking tree. How long has that been there? I should probably not swear as much as I used to, though. Because I looked at the demographic of the people that watch me, and a lot of them are younger than me. I'll just, I'll just put it that far. I don't know if I've ever said how old I am. But, uh... There we go. Four, we'll cook six. And then I'll be slightly less hungry than I was when I started standing here. Delicious fish. Yep, I am a hungry man. Uh, in other news, as I'm sure you've noticed, I have added a sort of lab coat on top of my skin I was using. As to emphasize the technical and just more advanced aspect of this entire series. And I'm probably not going to build a mountain this time. I'm probably going to do something similar to my hardcore series where I actually build down. Why does this seem like it's... Eh, maybe not. I'm just going to put another piece of wood in there just in case. Okay, good. So, I'm probably going to go with more of a... mountain base kind of thing, although there's no mountains around here, per se. And I definitely have access to more tools to do said purpose. But, uh... I have a little bit of food, I have a means to get food, and I've established that I'm probably going to build in the magical forest biome due to its biome colors being to my preference. With that said, we are roughly 25 minutes through and haven't really accomplished anything. I say roughly because there's probably a couple minutes of where I was just waiting for the world to generate, but I did that with escape. Ooh. Could I have mushroom soup? Hmm. Oh. I believe this is a stage 2 mana bean. I believe a stage 3 mana bean is larger and more flashier. 
And even though I don't think there's one under here, because I don't see any cobwebs in the tree. Nope. I didn't think it would hurt to check. Because if there's cobwebs in the tree, it means it has a spawner under it and could potentially contain loot as well as chunks not loading properly. But that is a whole nother topic. Alright. I can see that there's cows over this direction. And I will probably end up using those as my primary source of food. There's also a massive unloaded chunk. Or line of chunks. Hello, chicken. Ooh, egg. I am going to need those in the future as well. Especially if I want to do anything relating to routers in factorization. So, yeah. I think... I was trying to find somewhere I could live, but I haven't really seen anywhere... What is that, swamp? Wow, I have access to a swamp, a desert, a magical forest, a plains. This is literally just perfect. I live in the center of all the biomes. Uh, I'd really like to get around this massive chunk hole. Because I don't remember the hotkey to reload chunks. Also, I've had a bit of a sore throat, so that doesn't help either. But that's... That's also a whole other topic that I don't really care about. I kind of just wanted to record. I don't know why, but I like recording. It gives me something to do. It gives me a reason to do things. And... It's just all around interesting. Ooh, pigs. You provide me no real purpose. Enjoy becoming my food for a while. You know, I have seeds. I could technically breed chickens. Although, my seeds would disappear very quickly without a way to get them back. So, in the meantime, I'm going to kill pigs. But, uh, I'll have access to slime balls, which is going to be a very important thing. Uh, swamps usually also have a good supply of clay, which will be handy if I go to use the Tinker's Construct smeltery, which I will need for its more advanced tools later on. Finally found some bushes, which are a horrible source of food, because they only restore half a food thing per consumption. Uh, some surface lava. Pretty sure this is copper. I'm not going to worry about that at just this moment. Honestly, I'd rather find a cave. The lava will be useful in terms of dealing with... Uh, Tinker's Construct. Because you need lava to power the, uh, the smeltery. Ooh, is this a cave? It is a cave. Of pretty decent proportions. And also equally large lighting glitches. Tis the qualms of something. I don't know. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to then, next episode, show you what I got out of here. And then uh, we'll continue on with the actual building of machines and doing of important sort of things. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.